Hi, everybody. Is everybody ready? Yeah? <laughs> I have my fanboys right there. I love you guys. Uh, so let's start. Uh, during this small session, we will uh, just lick. Uh, that's something people don't used to do, but uh, that's something we really wanted to do because uh, we think that it's a really need for our customers. So uh, here it is. Uh, today, we will uh, introduce you to four features that will arrive soon, or not so soon, but may soon again. <laughs> um, and uh, first, so b before starting the demo, uh, just to tell you that for th that's four months that we didn't release uh, something at Genymotion. The first is, and the only one actually, it because we worked a lot, a lot on stability and on the CTS uh, compatibility. So our goal is that because we are virtualizing a system, the CTS is the only test that proves that your device is really simulating and emulating a real device. So we want it to be very, very, very good at it. And uh, for now, we have less than 40 tests that fails on uh, something like 28,000. Uh, so thanks. Uh, now let's start. The first feature we want to introduce you is uh, something that, that is really, really uh, uh, asked by many customers. It's the network uh, simulation. Because a uh, device is not only on Wi-Fi. Sometimes you, you are running on 3G, 4G, and Edge, other things. So we'll just show you uh, a small widget that will be added. All the things that you are seeing is just it's not released, that won't be the last uh, um, uh, UI, but uh, it works well, it works well. So for example, I just open a widget, and uh, for now it's on 3G. I, can, I will pass it on Wi-Fi and to test, to show you how it's working. So let's start an EDBHL, and we will ping Google during this demo. So here it is. So as you see here, that's the, 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 the time that the request uh, spent to be answered. So right now we are on a Wi-Fi network. This Wi-Fi is not working so well. <laughs> so you see that's really viable. Uh, but uh, if we, for example, go on uh, 4G with packet lost, it should change. Actually, from uh, a few milliseconds, we are now uh, um, to more than 100. I, uh, is, is everybody see it? Yeah? Is the mo is, is the, yeah, you got it? Great. So I think you understand the thing. If you go on 3G, it will be more. Now you are 200 uh, milliseconds that uh, is used for, for uh, the, the, um, to answer the ping. And GPRS, it will be worse. You have now 1,000. Uh, so that's the, and, and we also simulate the uh, packet loss. Uh, you have all the details of each uh, profiles, network profiles that are here. So this release, uh, the, this feature will be released uh, for, I, I think, at the end of this week, because we will have now, finally, uh, a new release. <laughs> Thank you. So the, this was the first uh, feature. Let's switch to the second one. I just let me switch off this and this. Yes. Great. So I will let Charlie because he basically developed this feature, so he really deserved the 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 the. The big, big time for him <laughs> to show you uh, this widget. Do you need my help? And do you want to speak? No. No. no, you will do, do no. the voice? Okay, great. I will show everybody my poor English language. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the, the new feature is something that was missing really in Genymotion because uh, you all know Android is uh, an operating system for uh, phone. So, we were missing a big feature, which is the, the phone support. So we, we are, you can see that uh, there is some network, some network in this uh, image, and uh, we developed 
for the moment, a little widget with few functionalities. So we can, uh, I will show you, we can make a call and we can and send SMS. <laughs> and uh, this is the two things that we can do with the widget, but uh, there is a lot of other functionalities that uh, will be enabled soon, and uh, that uh, you can access with the another new feature. It's uh, a command line tool that uh, AL will uh, describe you. Okay, so let's switch to another demo. This is our third feature that we wanted to show you. Um, just let, give me a minute so I can just switch to the good uh, workspace. So I will close everything right now. This is the the Jenny motion soft. Okay. Um and yeah, the third feature we wanted to show you is that we really realized that um a UI is great, but it's really not enough when you are professional and you want to automate uh the, the your build or uh, all the manipulation you want to do on your virtual devices. Uh, so the thing that we will release soon, we, we can say uh, when for now, it's a, a full common line set um, that you can use instead of the GUI. Oh, is everybody hearing me well? Yeah? Okay. So I'm here uh, on my, uh, here is, So let's see how we can use it. So this is the tool. For now, you have a few uh, um, things that you can do. Uh, as you can see, you can register a username, a password, like you can do on, on the GUI. Um, let's see a few, um, a few things. Uh, you, will, you, you can maybe want to list all your devices that are installed. So you do it, and then it's displayed. You can parse it. Maybe we will modify a little bit this to, to have a, a parseable, uh, easily parsable mode. But uh, that's something that you can do now. Uh, you can also start a device. So let's start this device. Huge. That was already launched, sorry. <laughs> Let's do it again. Okay, so now the device is launched really easily uh, with the, the tool. And now I want to uh, kill this uh, em this uh, virtual device, I just need to stop it like this. And then it will be done just when a uh, uh, virtual box will notice that we uh, turn off the thing. So this is quite, the demo is really quick actually, but uh, it opens really, really more uh, possibilities when you want to automate uh, all the way you manage all your virtual devices. And that some, something will uh, actually um, come with this um, with this feature is a Gradle plugin. So you will what? <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> 
So we will also release a Gradle plugin that will use Genymotion tool and that will allow you very easily to configure a few uh, virtual devices, to name a few devices that you already created, to, and you will be able to launch it automatically before uh, your, your automated tests. So I can show you, for example, this uh, project. It's called Binocle. Um, uh, <laughs> For sure they are in the room, but I will find you guys. <laughs> I know where you are now. Okay, um, uh, what I wanted to, say, to tell you, yeah, uh, does anybody who knows uh, that we have a Java API for Genymotion? Who knows that? Two guys. Yeah, and people from our company, for sure. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, actually, we have a, a Java API. This, this API allows you, uh, during your unit tests, to modify, to, to, to manipulate all the widgets that you can have, actually. You, you do it through Java uh, instead of doing it uh, through the, the GUI. So uh, Binocle is our project to show you how you can use all these API, Java APIs uh, on your G, um, G unit. And what we add to Binacle is a few things. First, you just need to uh, declare where the, 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 the plugin is. It will be uh, um, another address for sure when uh, it will be released. Uh, then you declare, um, the, you apply the Genymotion plugin. And the only thing you need to do is first Config where is your pass, where is Genymotion, the Genymotion you want to use on your computer, and then declare one or several devices. And if I launch, for example, let me just do this. I will close the virtual device because I think it's the same. So what you see here is that I will uh, very simply launch uh, connected Android test task on, uh, on the Android plugin. That's the task, the Gradle task that allows you to install a debug uh, or any APK on any devices that are plugged to your uh, configuration and uh, then run all the tests that you uh, embedded on your, on your application. I hope it will work uh, because we have a few problems right now because the call on Genymotion tools are not blocking, so I need to add a sleep <laughs> for now so that the, 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 the device uh, has the time to launch before starting the, the test. Um, it should be okay. Okay, so that's launched. Here is the Gradle console. So what you see is that uh, you can also display the, the VMs that are running or not. That's a, that's a small demo, but it's not very useful. So now, the, uh, as you see here, the, the tests are running. So let's look at our uh, virtual device. The binocle APK have been installed, and the tests are running. You can see here that the GPS is moving, because that's one of the things you can do uh, with, uh, um, uh, with um, the, the, the Genymotion Java API. And when it will be done, we'll just, you will just see, sorry. Ah. We'll just see a report. Where is it? Oh, that's here, I think. No. I just need to find it. No, that's not here. I closed it. Okay. No. Okay, when you finish <laughs> the, uh, uh, oh, I think, yeah, because the build, okay. Uh, you know sometimes, because there is a, a random thing on the test, sometimes it fails and sometimes it's success. And when it fails, 
you have a URL to a local file, uh, HTML file that show you what uh, went wrong. But uh, everything was well on this demo. That's just like a miracle. Uh, so you, I wanted to show you the, the report, but uh, there is no report because the, there, there is no error. So that was our first uh, feature that we wanted to present to you. We hope uh, you will uh, you enjoyed it, and that may be one of the things that make you uh, pass as a pro or indie license for our product, because all these things are because uh, all we we. we we consider that all these things are reserved for professionals that want to industrialize their build and things like that. It will be uh, uh, um, available on the, all the paid license. Thank you. OK. That was quick. That, that was quick. Uh, so we have now time for question. No question, guys? Was it so clear? <laughs> ah, Cyril, I know you. <laughs> uh, so the question is, what about Retina support? I think that's on the backlog. Uh, I'm not uh, responsible of the backlog for this thing, particularly. And, uh, but for sure, I will ask the question to the manager, and he will answer you. <laughs> No, I, I, I don't have any, yeah, for sure, I'm sneaking. <laughs> no, I don't have an answer, you know that. Any other question? Okay, so this is a barcom that could be uh, interesting for you, uh, that we can try to dive a little bit on, on the, the, the license question, because that's something that is really important for us, uh, to know why the professionals are buying or not the licenses and what, what they find useful and not enough useful on our tool to make it buy it or not. Uh, who buy, uh, already bought a Genymotion license? Both or own, I mean. Mario, you have a license. You can uh, raise your hand. <laughs> so there, there are just a few. Uh, that's normal. Um, what things um, lack for you guys to not buying a license, or is it, um, do you think, actually, do you think that you could one day buy a license on Jenny Motion? Who are the people that could buy? Yeah, just raise your hand and stay, stay so I can know. Okay, so are you really more? Uh, what miss for you? And I will be uh, very, very glad for you to have your feedback. What we are do do doing not enough good uh, that you cannot for now consider uh, uh, buying a license. Uh, can somebody explain us? In, uh... Stan, you raise your hand, yes. I want to hear you. You're the first and I hope that there will be other people. We really need your feedback, actually. The, the thing that we want is to improve, to make it uh, uh, enough good for you. Um, when I take a look into the future for the pay version, I saw a lot of stuff that I don't need at all. I just need the features, the basic features, uh, but for professional use, usage. So uh, yeah, just uh, give me uh, what is for the personal usage, make it uh, available for professional, like just a uh, cheapest license. A light version that uh, you can use for pro. Yep. But, uh, yeah. like but actually, we consider it. 300 uh, uh, euros. Uh, per year per uh, host, uh, enough cheap, but uh, yeah. that's the, that, that the way they think for now. Okay. Is there any other people that want to give us feedback? Or if you have any other question about baseband and things like that? Sebastiano. Uh, in my experience, it was either that the free version was good enough if I was doing something small, uh, like personal projects, or for work, I might have like, like needed it for a couple of days, and I couldn't really justify the price for a day or for a week, maybe. So that probably, for me, was the reason why I didn't have it. I mean, I, I missed some of the uh, pro features, but it was hard to justify a 
few hundred euros for a week. Yeah, sure, for a week. Uh, everybody can understand that. There is another one behind. Do you have plan to support a touch screen on Windows, for example, Windows 8? Um, Multi-touch, especially. Yeah, I, I wonder if it's not already... Not, not the ability touch, you're right. Uh, I don't know if it's on the back. Like, that's something we could add. I, I will uh, r I'll write it. Just let me write it. Uh, is everybody... Uh, does everybody have any other uh, uh, notice to, to, to give us? Hey. Uh, you can already do multi-touch using the remote control widget that deport uh, the screen on another device and you can use your device to do multi-touch. Yeah. Uh, that's something we could demo. No, no, that Silva is part of the team. And actually, you can actually um, do, uh, um, do uh, uh, whoa, test the, the multi-touch through a widget that allows you to remote control with another device. So you, can, you can't do it for now on directly on your screen, but uh, if you plug a device, there is a widget to do it. And it also uh, deports the sensors. So if you need very precise sensors for gaming, you can already do it. Uh, I will give him. Do you have a, a Jenkins plugin in your roadmap? On the roadmap, I don't know. But actually, if you use Gradle, you don't really need a Jenkins plugin. Also, because we release a command line tool, you can do it through Jenkins very easily. Maybe it will arrive. I don't really know. I don't have the, 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 an eye on the roadmap on this thing for now. But uh, uh, you could manage very easily. If you use Gradle, that will be natural. We, you will use, uh, use our plug uh, Gradle plugin. Or just if you prefer the command line, that you can do it uh, very easily with Jenkins. We have what, five minutes more, something like this? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think for some devices you can't go full screen with high resolution. So. Sometimes you run into a situation when the designer wants to really check that the icon looks good in high resolution. So I, I don't hear well. Can you repeat, sorry? Yeah, this, I'm not sure if this is um, a bug or limitation about uh, the free version, but you can go high resolution in full screen on, for some devices. So we run into some issue with designers trying to make sure that the pixels, they're trying to push pixels. And check that, you know, the design or the mock really reflect what they expect. Yeah, so, that's the reason why we implement a pixel perfect feature that is on the paid version. Uh, do you know that? Yeah, I didn't know. So you have it. Yeah, I uh, I can, uh, we can show you. So I need to open a third Jenny motion. <laughs> so let's do it. Uh, I think that's this one. Yes. So just let's open this one. So do you see this? This widget allows you to enable the pixel perfect mode. So each pixel on your screen now is one pixel on a device. Maybe it could be interesting for the last five minutes to show you what is added when you have a license. It could be very valuable for people. Are you OK? Yeah? OK. So you heard about the Java API. This is also reserved to paid version. The GPS is free for now. The camera, I don't think so. I think it's free. guys. Behind, uh, does anybody use the camera on the free version? Yeah? So you can use your camera. I don't know if it's free or not. 
Um, what could be interesting uh, that you can record uh, a scene. For example, I just want to demo an app. So I launch the video. It's starting. And then I open, I don't know, any uh, application. OK. It's enough. I finished it. And I just open. So here is my video. So very easily, you can record a video uh, of uh, uh, demoing uh, an app. With sounds. With sounds, yes. So this is a feature. Uh, we told you about the remote control. Oh, sorry. You can change the Android ID and uh, EME very easily, because sometimes you really need it. By default, it's very bad. So you can put something more consistent in it, because some application need it. Um, and yes, the last thing we can try to show you, do you have a USB cable? Oh, I think I have it. I don't know if we are running out of time. Oh, we have four minutes. It's OK. Does anybody have a USB cable? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. OK. So, OK. Tu peux me tenir le truc, s'il te plaît? So, let's start. Uh, so, I enable uh, this uh, widget. He knows that uh, I have a Samsung device plugged in. I start the remote control. I would just do something so you can see the touches on the screen. Mm. Good number. I'm a developer. Okay, sorry. Sorry. need to show touches. Yes, I got it. So what I have here is a phone. Uh, and actually, I just. OK, let's start it again. So it's launching an application on my device. And yes, w the first thing you've seen is that uh, when I change the position of my phone, all the sensors are directly transmitted to the VM. So it thinks that it is in landscape or portrait. I can switch it very easily. And then I can also add a fingers to the maximum is 10. And it's very useful when you want to touch uh, to to, to simulate very uh, precise and strange gesture. And you also have a feedback. Sometimes it's break this part, but uh, you also have a feedback. So this is extremely useful for people that are developing games, for example. So this is the last feature you have uh, on paired version for now, because we presented you uh, four other features that will arrive soon, and really, really more will be a, a, a uh, implemented on the next release.
I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you, guys.